is the part two of controllability and observability problems. So what is controllability? Q of C should not be equal to zero. This is A and this is B. This is obtained from the part one. You can check part one if needed. So B is equal to zero, zero and ten. A B is zero one zero 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 one minus one minus two minus four and zero zero ten. So when multiplying this, we get the value as zero, one and minus four. Now we have to find the A square B. So first we need to find the a square a into a and we are getting the output as 1 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 4 7 and 14. So to find the a square b it should be 1 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 4 7 14 into 0 0 and 10. While we are multiplying this we get the value as 10 minus 40 and 140. So we can reduce this matrix. When we are dividing it by 10 we get the value as 1 minus 4 and 14. So what is q of c b? a b and a square b while well, we are substituting the b a b and a square b and taking the modulus of this we get the value as so this will be 0 this will be 0 and only 1 remains so 1 into 0 minus 10 so the answer will be minus 10 so modulus of q or c is minus 10 and it is not equal to 0 so the system is completely controllable regarding the rank all the three rows and columns are independent so the rank is 3